What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Gotham City back at you with another one. I'm just here to get my opinion about the new Patman Puck Table and the new alliance uh, with RK One of it and the company called Alliance LLC. So let's get to and I, before I get to the subject matter, I want to thank everybody for looking at my last video, the first video that got 500 500 views. I want to thank the community for supporting it. And for all the subscribers that continue to support my content, please share this video and all that good stuff. So I want to kick it to it. So for the Pat, for Miss Pac-Man Pub Table, the, it's, it's beautiful. Not gonna lie, I love the the artwork, the coloring. Uh, the the games list the games list is not desirable on my behalf. I'm not a fan of the. The games list because it reminds is the pa Miss Patman Gallagher uh, games list. So I didn't the the Pat, uh, the eighty one. So I I didn't buy that cab. So this is this is gonna be a pass for me. I think it'll sell well in the community. I think it has a beautiful look to it. But personally, for me, I I thought they could have did the Patman Royale for this cab because they showed they could do this this form factor, and I think. The Pac-Man Royale would have been better, and that would have brought out new hype for going into the new new year. Not saying that this will not sell, and hopefully next year we might get something different. Hopefully we'll get some new games. But as but as far as right now, this is a hard pass for me. I I have not bought anything this year, so I'm just gonna just keep it moving. When it comes to the Alliance and RK One Up and what I'm reading. And I'm going to put the link in the page if you haven't went and read it. I, what I'm getting is that that Walmart and all the retailers will not have to have this stored in their warehouses. So this will actually free up space for RK1 up to basically produce. Alliance will give them money for certain titles. And then it will be up to the retailers whether they want to buy into it. So uh, let's say Walmart is not interested in it, but Best Buy want to get like three, four hundred cabs for them. They'll be able to purchase them. They'll be able to purchase it through uh, RK One Up and Alliance. Will I think they will store the cabinets, or RK One Up will store it. So it will be a real interesting way of them doing business. Hopefully, we'll see new titles like Street Fighter Three, Street Fighter Alpha, Daytona. Maybe a Donkey Kong cabinet, maybe Tekken, maybe a Soul Calibur, maybe Pole Position, maybe Cubert, maybe something different that we haven't seen because being, being that there's a new CEO now in the company and they're going in a whole new direction, it will probably be something interesting going into the new year. I haven't been... I haven't had any FOMO for RK1 products since Blitz and MVC2, but hopefully that will change with a, someone new at the, the at the at the head at the at the head of the table, and maybe some new ideas will come on new ways of getting new cabs. Because I would love to buy more RK1 of cabs, but as long as they keep rehashing cabs. And trying to put old playlists on new new uh, new form factors, I, it's gonna always gonna be a hard pass for me. I'm not trying to shame the company. I just feel like at the end of the day, I know what I want as a consumer and as a YouTuber. I know what I want to put out there in the masses to advocate for the product. If the product is good and the title is there, yes, I'm gonna advocate for it. But I will be honest about it at the same time. So. Hopefully, Alliance and RK One Up will allow the community to get the cash they be sorely desire at this point, and hopefully there'll be a change of energy, and hopefully some of the YouTubers will come back into the space, and hopefully there'll be more unity. I, I know there's a lot of beefing going on, everybody's kind of frustrated with everybody, but at the end of the day, this is all about fun and all about gaming. So this will be the end of my opinion slash review, but um. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. If uh, please share it on Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Uh, I want to thank everybody for supporting my content over the last year and a half, and hope I'm on my way to a thousand, not that far out. 
And, and when I do get there, I'll have a special giveaway. So I want to wrap it up. I want to thank everybody for coming out. Peace.